guys. And just a short update here now. <clears throat> I have a fever, but I'm getting better. So today, after several days of just staying at home and resting, I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I went to a friend's record shop, a friend I've been talking about in a town nearby. Took the car and drove over there to trade me a couple of records. I had a Psych LP he really wanted as he collects that. And <clears throat> I took this home with me, this receiver. Now I haven't bought it yet, but he said take it home and have a listen. Just uh, check it out so it works, sounds properly. It's a vintage Pioneer. SX636 with the lights repaired here as you can see really nice wooden cabinet or how to say it's really really heavy um, so I'm using this testing this in the record room at the moment like the second record I have been spinning now just to check out how it sounds I am using my father's old Yamo speakers from Denmark that he had in the 70s now in this room so I'm changing the setup I'm going to show you soon that I have a new find uh, in the my first at my first setup in the living room uh, as you guys know my rega is still not repaired or i haven't changed the stylus yet because i need some help with that i i we got a dyna vector a quite expensive one as a present uh, cartridge there to put on but that's not yet done but i have a new little toy there in the living room which I will show you uh, soon but this I'm testing in here with the Ariston Q deck that I have in the living room before that's not not as luxurious maybe as the one I have now but the thought is that when I get the Rega going the lime green Rega P3 24 in the living room with the new stylus hopefully working uh, I will have um, this hopefully if it turns out to still run great and is a good price for my friend. I will have this and these Yamo speakers and the one I have now in the living room which is a vintage turntable too. So I will have a 70s setup in the record room and I will have Marega going in there so a newer setup in the living room uh, or how to say a newer sound and I want the old 70s the heavy sound in this room where I keep my records because I had a crappy receiver here before that's going hopefully to my cottage in the woods so I I have bought <laughs> more turntables just to have and um, a turntable for my cottage so I can play records there too uh, which is a good thing but yeah this is a beautiful I know it's not a Marantz um, receiver which is the one I really want but yeah I just want a heavy sounding 70s receiver so this will do if I can afford it really looks great I love this with the wood you know can't see it properly because I have the turntable up there when I'm testing this. Hopefully can put it at the side or something so you can see the wood. But yeah, I really love this button here, which is a loudness button. Yeah. The, the 70s speakers really come alive. Um, with this receiver so really love it and now I will show you the new toy which is I have bought um, in the living room so hold on
Sorry about that. Little. This is some VCLT, which I'll show later. But yeah, this is my new toy here. Little bit dusty now, but yeah. Mm, this is a Marantz model 6100. Really great looking. You guys that had uh, have the Facebook page and the YouTube Vinyl Community page. I have shown this when it was newly bought. I bought this a couple of weeks ago um, before my cold and uh, it had no cartridge on it and the auto shut off didn't work it said. I found this at a thrift shop for like 25 euros. But yeah, I've been looking for a 70s turntable for quite some time to have in my second setup. So this will go into the record room later on when the Rega, you guys miss the lime green Rega, right? Because I miss it too. Uh, but this is my new playmate here <laughs> in the living room until the Rega is set up. It's really in great shape. Now I took this to the repair shop, the hi-fi shop we have here locally and they mounted on a new, hopefully you can see it, pretty good a little bit blur there, a new a new autophone uh, 2M red on this one they are not so expensive or uh, not expensive uh, as an audiophile kind of cartridge uh, stylus, but yeah, this was pretty decent price under uh, 100 euros. So I chose that one. I was thinking of a shore and uh, maybe what else? Another Samiko, but yeah, I really wanted this one, and so far I'm really happy about this. Because it sounds really great. So <clears throat> now the auto shut off works. Um, weirdly enough, they couldn't fix it at the shop. So um, I took it home and just put on uh, another switch on the floor so I can switch off the power when I've uh, sh when I'm changing sides or just don't don't want to listen to records anymore <laughs> so but after just like five records um, the auto shut off uh, started working so it shuts off after each sides and yeah the arms goes back here and just shuts off so the pl platter stops moving so everything works properly now so it just needed some love i think this has been just standing on in someone's uh, attic or or whatever for quite some time so really really happy about this find for 25 euros it's a real good find in this condition the speed works properly everything works great and really um, really great shape still has the the lid on and it's just beautiful to me so really happy about this find just had to have it you know really wanted them around so no marantz receiver yet but the pioneer i think if i can afford it it will work fine with this one um here in the living room i have my quite new not other file either, but yeah, I have still got my Technics receiver from in the 90s and it sounds great, so really cool. Uh, so, just wanted to show you that. Hope you think it's a beauty too. So, be back soon. Today is the day after I shot the video of this <coughs> receiver. I've been testing out today too. Got the very good news that it is mine now because I'm so happy about it. Um, <clears throat> I can work it off at my friend's store. I usually help him out at record fairs and so. 
so I can work some <clears throat> days when he's away and this is mine so I've cleaned it up real good have some cleaning left but managed to get the dirt out of the knobs so really really happy 